Well, it's cold and a little windy. The reason for the wind, huh? Yeah, we had a great day yesterday. We went to the safari and then we did a little bit of axe throwing after we went to the uh, the safari. And we had a lot of fun axe throwing with, with Rob and Wendy. The first time that we've been since I'm going to plug. Yeah. And we can talk about that now because that episode has already aired. <laughs> yeah. But we can't talk about it in front of Rob and Wendy. So they're over there. <laughs> as we're recording this, that hasn't aired yet. Yeah. So we can't talk in front of them. We couldn't even tell them while we were shooting with them that we did it on yeah. RBO Unplugged. Yeah. Well, I didn't get to play on RBO Unplugged. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I got eliminated before I even got to throw there. That was fun, you said. Yeah. Place. So today we're heading out to Put In Bay. Yeah. It's a little island off of uh, Sandusky. You gotta take like a 20 minute ferry out of there. Yeah. Which we're on right now. We barely got it. We're the last car on. Let's get it in. Uh, I have no idea what there is to do out there, but we're gonna have a good time. This will be really fun. They got a lot of shopping, restaurants, it's resorty. Yeah. They got hotels and stuff. Rent golf carts to get around the island. Good food. There's an RV on the boat, so I'm think, assuming there's camping. <laughs> yeah, I think there's like some nature stuff with animals. Yeah, and stuff. Lots of, you can hike the island. Uh, 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 preserves. Preserves. Yeah, yeah, nature preserves stuff. Uh, there's a chocolate museum. Which we might go we, to. <laughs> we're going. Stop <laughs> it. I don't know what all we're going to get into, but um, you're coming with us. That's right. The island is full of just bars and shops and restaurants, mostly bars and restaurants. But we're gonna eat today at the uh, Fire Engine Pizza Company. It's a fire engine, and this is a bar. So you sit out the back of the fire engine and have a drink, eat your pizza. This is a really cool little setup they got right here. Covered, they got some baseball up there on the screen. So, hey, pizza and baseball, I'm in. Check this out, the bar stools. Our fire extinguishers. That's, awesome. ah, that's, that's really cool. Genius idea. Good theme. Nice theme out here. Now you can walk and you can see up top of the fire engine. You can see in the back of it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And look at that. August 21st. Bash on the bay. Jelly Roll is going to be out here. Well, check this out. They used to do they used to do road races out here. So this marks uh, one of the turns, Colonial Turn. So when they used to road race through here, that used to be one of the turns in the race in the 1950s and 60s. Let's see if I can find some footage of that. Maybe on the YouTube I can find out. And then we're going to walk down here to the boardwalk, walk around, see what we can get into. Well, here's the opposite of the Key West buoy. This Key West North put in bay. And you can see Key West is 1,200 miles from here, 1,205 miles from here. And the Canadian border is five miles north of here. On a clear day, you can probably see it. But yeah. not today. No, not today. Well, now we're at the Perry's Victory and International Peace Memorial. I had to read that off the thing because there's no way I would have ever remember that. <laughs> and I don't know what this is all about. I know nothing about it. So you're going to learn as I learn because I could make up a cool story. But it just wouldn't be true. Be lies. So I'm going to try to find the actual facts and tell you the real deal. Okay. <laughs> all right. I missed it. I went to get tickets. What's the story behind all this? Come on, man. Like literally, we just literally talked it all out. Killing me. <laughs> I'm telling you, your, your uh, brain injury was contagious <laughs> over the years. I just, whoop, right out. Oh, well. We got a ticket to go in the tower. But we can read this wall again, and I'll tell you. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll read this, and then I'll pop back on and let you know what is going on here. All right. Let me give you the general gist of it. So this is part of the War of 1812. Canada was still owned by Great Britain. We had just like fought them off. And, but between Lake Erie and Canada, it was a little too close for comfort for us. Yeah. We didn't like that. Yeah. Felt like we needed to push the British back. So yeah. got into a battle out here on Lake Erie. Got to whomping. Well, they, they were short-handed in men from fighting Napoleon. The British. Yeah, the British. Yeah. So the U.S. felt if there was a time to strike, it was then. Yeah. And that's why they went forward with trying to take Canada. 
Yeah, and then after the war, uh, Canada gets its independence, and so it becomes its own government. Yeah. And so that's why the three flags are flying out here. The American flag, the Canadian flag, and the British flag, because now this monument is a symbol of peace between the three nations after the fighting went on for that time. Did yeah. I get it right? Basically. You get the gist of it. <laughs> Just come here and read all the stuff, and you'll know even more. We're going topside. Yes. This is interesting. Look at this. Beneath this stone lie the remains of three American, three British officers killed in the Battle of Lake Erie, September 10th, 1813. So somewhere under here, there's six gentlemen who fought in that war. Oh, see, we were gonna do, we were gonna do a piggyback ride. I totally was gonna carry you up there. Yeah, now we can't even do it, man. <laughs> Damn. No fun. All right, we're up topside, man. This is cool. We are very high up. I don't know the exact number. Uh, I'll overlay it down here on the bottom of the screen somewhere. But um, this is the third tallest national monument. First one is the Arch in St. Louis, which we've been to. And the second is the monument in San, Ju San Jacinta, Texas, which we've been to. And this is the third, which we've now been to. So we've been to the top three, tallest. It's beautiful up here. I wish it was a clearer day. Because they say on a clear day, you can actually see Canada from here. But um, it's a little foggy out there today. I thought it was going to be super windy, but yeah, there's hardly any wind at all. Pretty yeah, calm. It's nice. Yeah. You can see Canada. Even though it's a little foggy, you see this little thin strip. It's not the Canadian mainland. It's an island off of Canada. Pelee? I think it's called Pelee Island. And you can see it from up here. Very cool. Big Beard Batteries helped us get through our RV Unplugged experience. Now we have the confidence to stay off grid for longer periods of time and enjoy comforts of shore power everywhere we go. Big Beard Batteries is everything you want in a lightweight, high output battery with active self balancing modules and temperature control. So say goodbye to the traditional power limitations and experience the true potential of reliable, lightweight lithium technology with Big Beard Batteries. All right, we're getting to Leslie's favorite part of the day. Yes. We're going to the Chocolate Museum. Yeah, baby. And the Beer Garden. No chocolate. So your favorite and my favorite, all in one. <laughs> beer, beer and chocolate. Yeah. I, I guess they go together. I don't know. We'll see. They got Bavarian pretzels. And they got Bavarian beer, too. <laughs> 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 this is the chocolate museum. Not much of a museum. Not a lot going on in here. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, that was a great episode. Because she was trying to eat it, it was going down the line so fast and shoving it in her mouth trying to get it out. I love it. Yeah, but in here they got, you know, just old uh, chocolate packaging from history. And actually, there's the scene. There's yeah. the scene that you were just talking about. <laughs> They're trying to keep up on the on the conveyor. <laughs> I love Lucy, man. You got to love that. <laughs> if you haven't seen that episode of I Love Lucy, you got to watch it. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I tripped over that thing I was backing up. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there's uh, different packaging from different um, chocolates, Christmas chocolates, old stuff, old uh, candy dispensers, and there's old tins over here, um, different Hershey stuff. Some of the stuff's behind glass. It's a little, little museum. And then they talk about, you know, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and stuff over here. Oh, let's look at it. Ha! I've got another puzzle for you. It'll take you about 75 seconds to get through the museum. And but now we're heading over here into the shop. And, that, and, and the most important part is sampling and buying and eating those are what milk balls milk, milk mall balls yeah oh my gosh they're huge they're like massive bottles. yeah those are big balls that's a big ball sack yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this end down here they got a bunch of different ice creams that you can get milkshakes huge bagels look at these bagels <laughs> the french toast bagel i bet that's good they got jars of different kinds of bagels. And then over here they got cakes and pies. Look at this ridiculous chocolate six layer cake, cheesecakes, cookie dough cakes, chocolate eruption. 
That's cinnamon cool. rolls. Crazy. Not a lot of room to pass through here, but you got all your caramel corns over here, and then you got your little chocolatey treats and turtles, truffles, fudge, toffee, caramels, all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. What do we get? We got chocolate marshmallow. Okay. That's for later, I think. That's for We're going to save that for later, yeah. That's for you. Yeah, this is your oh, chocolate Oh, the chocolate rice covered Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah, yeah, that's for later. That, look at that. Look like a brick. <laughs> yes. And then for now, we need for a sweet now. treat for right now. Yeah. So for right now, yours is a double chocolate truffle. Sea salt. Oh, you got the sea salt. I got salt. the that's sea salt right. caramel truffle. We were debating between the two. Yeah. And I got the Buckeye truffle. Oh, the peanut butter Buckeye truffle. Yeah. They all look really good. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I gotta finish it off with a beer. Yeah. Chocolate and beer! <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Get it? Well, I'm not eating the whole thing. Just pop it in there. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it! No, that'd be terrible. Do it! Oh, you took a little baby bite. Let me see the inside of that thing. It's got three layers. Oh, you haven't even got to the peanut butter yet. Barely. But it's got two layers of chocolate. Oh, nice. And then the peanut butter. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Hey, we're in Cedar Point today. Yes. It's going to be awesome. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, we can't really show you too much because it's against the law. Yes. They'll kick you out of the park. And it's a misdemeanor in the state of Ohio to try to record on a ride, so can't do it. But yeah. we'll show you a little bit about the rides that we're doing. Mm -hmm. We'll kick around the park a little bit, and then um, we'll be here for several hours today. Yeah. I think we picked the hottest day of the year so far. Yes, we absolutely. It's like 82 degrees today. But it feels like 92 degrees. And we'll be standing in lines, so it's going to be hot. Woo-hoo! Yeah. All right. That means here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we just went on this ride and it's awesome. It gets you on the edge and then it hangs you there. You think you're just going to go over, but it hangs you there. It messes with you. See? It's just hanging them there. And then they think they're going over. No, it stops you. And then it drops you. Yeah! Yes! That's awesome. <laughs> Due to the dynamics of this roller coaster, it's recommended that you remove all earrings. No. All right. Not. Come back. Missing an earlobe. Not missing an earlobe. I'm I don't want to hear you crying. We'll do missing a hoop, but I ain't got to miss an earlobe. We'll do a status report after we're off to see if Leslie still has her ears attached. <laughs> all right. Earring status check. Check. Got it. All your ears are still attached? Yes. Good to go. Good to go. Breaking all the rules and still surviving. I can see where where they put the post because if you with big hoops, yeah, that could have been a problem because they were flopping around. my head around a little bit. It did on that one curb. It yeah. turned and then turned again real yeah. quick, so it jolted you a little. Yeah, that would hurt if you were wearing good size earrings. Yeah, but yeah, unless you were wearing big hoops, the flopping around and able to pull off your ears, I can see that. But if you're not wearing big hoopy. Goodbye. We're sitting on the ground in line because there's lightning in the area and they've stopped the ride. We're almost to the front. We've been in this line for like an hour and I'm not giving up the ghost, man. I'm not, I'm not leaving. The weather's supposed to just skirt right past us, but there is lightning strike within a couple miles, so they will shut these things down until the lightning passes, so we're in limbo. So might as well sit. It sucks because we were in a line that got shut down for uh, mechanical problems. Yeah. Now this is shut down. It sucks. But the sun's covered up. We're not dying of heat. Yeah, at least we're not. <laughs> but we're not undercover. You see right here, these people are undercover. We're not. So if it starts raining, we're just going to get wet. <laughs> wet t-shirt contest. Good <laughs> Oh, man. What a day we had out here at Cedar Point. It makes sense.
Yeah, yeah. Charlie Brown bush behind us there. Yeah, they're real cute. Yeah, we had a good time. We got delayed a couple of times. Man. A couple of rides went they down. Have, they have the best coasters we've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, that one roller coaster, uh, the best voted steel roller coaster in the world. Yeah. The Millennium Force, I think it's called. Yes. Millennium Force. 310 feet up. 360 foot drop, because it goes further down. Because it goes than further down than when it goes up. <laughs> 93 miles an hour. Yeah, that was fun. Man, it was awesome. God, that was fun. The wooden roller coaster was way better than I thought it was going to be. Yes. It's not like a one of those shake you around, knock your teeth out kind of roller coasters. No, they modernized. Nice it's and smooth. smooth. Most of the roller coasters here are really, really smooth, yeah. man. Just really nice. Uh, the Sun. lines are a little bit long, but we're here before Memorial Day, so we got that going for us. And it was field trip day. Oh, man, we said we're not going to go over the weekend because oh. it's going to be busy. We'll go on Monday. Every senior high school class was here today <laughs> everybody was here buses just full of high school kids and stuff yeah. but, but it wasn't terrible we, no we had to wait in some lines but it was a it was a great time here in this area too with our yes. friends wendy and robs from, uh, from canada that came yeah. down had a good time with them we hope you enjoyed coming along with us and we're tired we are tired and we're hungry and we and travel tomorrow and we travel and we're smelly <laughs> and so we're headed over to the alliance rally uh over in Elkhart. Yeah. That's where we're headed to tomorrow. But uh, great time out here. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.